DeepSeek is going to be dropping five open source repositories in the coming five or so days. Being that that is the case and the large amount of interest and excitement that DeepSeek has garnered to date, I want to go ahead and just embark on some perhaps healthy hypothesis of what some of these open source repositories may actually be. So we're going to jump right into it right now and get started by simply looking at this actual announcement. We can see here that they posted it was day zero on February 20th. There are a tiny team at DeepSeek and exploring AGI. Starting next week, which will be pretty much 12 hours from now or so, they are going to be open sourcing five repositories, which for those of us who have used DeepSeek and been excited by it is extremely exciting. Now in this video, I want to perhaps use some context clues and things of that sort to actually perhaps give educated guesses on what these actually may be. Now I have gone ahead and embarked on a bit of sleuthing, if you will, and just trying to give an educated guess as to some of the things we may see this week. The first thing I did is basically went to DeepSeek's Hugging Face page and looked at some of their recent activity. We can see that someone in the DeepSeek organization recently contributed or authored a paper relating to Tripo SG, which is high fidelity 3D shape synthesis. Now this is extremely interesting to me because one of the actual first videos I did on this channel was on something called Tripo SR, which was essentially a text to 3D model or image to 3D model generation framework that I basically gave it a picture of a car, it made a 3D file of the entire car based off that two-dimensional picture, and then I went ahead and actually printed it and had something to play with, which was quite cool. So if we click on this paper and just look at it real quick, we can see that this is talking about 3D shape synthesis, which could essentially, for the purpose of this, mean text to 3D model, which is something I would be extremely excited to see from DeepSeek, and I know a lot of indie game developers such as myself, or even individuals interested in 3D printing would really be excited about because we could make some 3D models just by using a text prompt. There are some other things that exist like this, like NVIDIA's Llama Mesh, but to get something from DeepSeek would be awesome. The next sort of context clue that I saw here was relating to this paper right here, which perhaps is a bit technical, but it says native sparse attention, hardware aligned and natively trainable sparse attention. Now, this is kind of abstract, as we can see in this abstract, and a little hard to understand, but basically, I think to put it in a human readable way, this is essentially the ability to make models more efficient, run more optimized on hardware, and this specifically talks about long context. So, not only does this have the ability to potentially speed up the token generation speed of locally run models, but it can also help them be more efficient in actually handling large context windows, which of course is just the ability to actually give the model a ton of input text and have it actually keep that lucid and be able to give you answers based on that text. So this is something that could perhaps be seen as well, just based on some little hugging face sleuthing. And this is another thing that would be really cool to see because I don't know that DeepSeek is going to come out and just kind of like drop a GPU or something like that, but if they actually get to working on actually more efficiently utilizing the existing GPUs, this could really be something that would be kind of awesome. Now, in terms of other context clues here based on paper contributions and authors by the DeepSeek team, I don't really see too much that could give us a guess on what may be coming. However, basically one of, I think, the most commonly, I won't say requested, but requested slash guessed things is just a new DeepSeek model, which would be really cool. And thanks to people like the folks at Unsloth and things like that, even if it is a big, beefy model like R1, there will be optimizations and smart folks out there who make tweaks to these models. So folks like like myself, hobbyists at home actually have a chance to go ahead and run them. I personally would really be interested in actually seeing some more distilled models of different things using perhaps updated or more efficient architecture that the DeepSeek team has put together. But I am just really excited to see any kind of models that they come out with, which I think inevitably is something we could perhaps put a large bet on happening and seeing. The final thing that I personally am wanting to see, and perhaps this is the most excitement that I get when I think of what could potentially be dropping this week, is something related to agentic works. There is obviously a numerous amount of agentic systems out there, even finding more drag and drop solutions now, and agents are really all of the rage because of what they can do. To see DeepSea come out with really anything agentic would be extremely exciting and something that I would probably opt to play with first and foremost. So that is something I really want to see and am very excited in the hopes that could be dropped this week in open source week. 
Now, perhaps a bit less interesting to a lot of folks who just want to play with these models, it would be really cool to actually see some more data sets released by DeepSeek so that the open source community can then basically leverage an extremely in-depth and powerful data set like this to go ahead and then fine tune or train their own models from scratch. Data sets are definitely kind of an unsung hero in the AI slash ML world because these are really responsible for a lot of what the models are capable of doing. Data is arguably one of if not the most important things in actually training and making AI models so to get some more open source data sets of high quality like this would really be exciting and very valuable as a contribution to the open source community. I do quickly want to touch upon some of the perhaps other implications of DeepSeek open sourcing five repositories in one week, and that is perhaps more financial. Now, it is likely no surprise to you, or you've heard the news, that when this really got a lot of hype, the stock market went down a lot. So it is unfortunately possible that perhaps this could have negative effects on the stock market, obviously depending on your holdings and position. For those of us who perhaps even don't even invest in the stock market, it may not be as big of an issue, but it is definitely something to be aware of. Now, something I do want to note that I think is pretty cool is large companies are not actually just saying, oh, forget DeepSeek, we don't want to use it, especially NVIDIA. We can actually see right here that on January 30th, they posted a blog post of actually being able to run and use DeepSeek R1 with the NVIDIA NIM microservices. So this is essentially NVIDIA kind of taking in DeepSeek and saying, okay, this does exist and perhaps we should offer it to people to actually be able to to run using some of our services. And that is exactly what they did right here to run it as the NIM microservice as we can see right here, which you can actually kind of go in and play with if you are so inclined. This is designed to be very fast at inference and model speed generation. So this is definitely more of a business focused kind of release here, but just seeing Nvidia actually embrace DeepSeek and offer it on one of their services is exciting. So. A lot of big tech may be kind of scared by DeepSeek, but we can see here that a lot of big tech perhaps may be open to actually embracing it. And ultimately, my hope is that that benefits folks like myself, who is the little guy home hobbyist and perhaps small business use cases for these models. So regardless of your thoughts on DeepSeek, whether you love it, whether you hate it, it is an important and exciting thing. And we are on the cusp of the five days of DeepSeek, as I have dubbed it, and perhaps someone else has dubbed it before. Um, it would be seemingly a logical thing to call this. But in hopefully about 12 or so hours, we will be able to see the first of many releases. And I have gone over some of the things that I hope to see, some of the things I'm guessing we will see. And I want to know what you at home want to see from DeepSeek, because a lot of my viewers are definitely interested in open source, things we can run locally, and things that benefit the open source community as a whole. So what do you want to see from these five days of DeepSeek, and what else do you hope to see in the future? Thanks for watching, and that is going to wrap up this kind of short prelude excitement video to the five days of DeepSeek.